There's also, from there, a standard reporting intervention to clinical trials of active functional restriction. And uh, these have started to show improvements in both the Chinese literature, uh, but also when you compare it just to our Western studies, uh, it's not that the Chinese literature is, uh, is unique in this regard. Looking at urological surgery or looking at ophthalmology, the rate in which uh, our own uh, United States clinical trials utilize these criteria is as low as 34%. Uh, so we don't want to have the pop called in the kettle flat, but uh, there is some, some major problems with the way the uh, studies have been structured and therefore it's hard to make any yeah, and that was my follow-on question. Did you come to any personal uh, conclusions about why uh, you would have uh, so much literature saying hey, it's 90 percent effective when clearly folks are definitely still still suffering and from and dying from uh, hepatitis, right? And, which of course is perhaps not so much of an acupuncture problem, but why why then? Would, uh, in your opinion, why then would studies be coming out this way? Um, is that just a question of uh, the, the methodology that's being applied? Is that is there any other possible explanation for that, or is it just pretty much uh, point toward low quality study? Well, there you know, are critical pieces that the consort and the strict uh, criteria talk about on how you have a legitimate clinical trial such as randomization, how do you randomize things? What are the dropout rates? Are the observers or the scores of the clinical effect blind? Is there any follow-up with the participants? And almost all of these have been, until the last four or five years, as these uh, uh, the studies have started to prove, although they're absent from the, the printed report. Uh, typical clinical studies in the United States or Europe was probably about five, six pages, most of it talking about their methodology, whereas a, a tremendous majority of the uh, Chinese language research trials are page, page and a half. And so it's really difficult to see what they did, which was judge whether or not it was a uh, good trial. It's just not reported, so it's hard to take the results uh, right. on the, uh, the positive outlook. Well, this is really appreciate you being on the call. I want to uh, tell you a little bit about uh, a study that uh, was done at Sloan Kettering on hepatitis and the use of a compo formula, so Cyclotel. And the only reason I bring it up is that it was a similar condition. It was researched in a Western country in the United States, and it was based on a Japanese medicine, which uh, is used by 75% of the MDs in Japan. So there's there's light at the end of the tunnel here, and, and that's the beauty of uh, being involved in the medicine that's used all over the world. We can, in fact, uh, be able to extrapolate. I, I see it all as technology transfer. So we can take some of these values and put them in these settings that uh, are not available in China. Uh, and uh, possibly some other Asian countries and still get some very good results that can prove that uh, there's something of value. Well, I think that the number of clinical studies that have been done, especially in the past five years across the world, are showing the underlying physiology of acupuncture uh, as well as uh, very good clinical effects. Uh, you know, I think the